In this video, I'll show you how to install the latest version of OBS Studio on Ubuntu 24 to record your desktop. Before installing OBS Studio, you should first update your system and graphics drivers to the latest version. First, make sure your system is up to date by opening Software Updater and installing available updates. After updating your system, you'll want to check your graphics drivers. Open the additional drivers utility and make sure your graphics drivers are updated to the latest available version. Now let's install OBS Studio. To get the latest version, we'll need to add the OBS PPA repository by running this command. OBS is also available from the default Ubuntu repository, but it won't be the latest official version. After adding the repository, Update the package list first, then install the OBS-Studio package. The installation is complete. Now let's open OBS Studio for the first time. When you start OBS for the first time, the Auto Configuration Wizard will run to determine the best settings for your desktop. You don't need to overthink it. Just select the option that best fits your main use case. You will have to fine tune these settings later as you become more familiar with OBS Studio. Before recording your desktop, you need to add a screen capture source. If you want to record audio, you'll also need to add an audio input source. To add your display to the sources, click the plus button and select screen capture. Then from the screen list, choose Entire Screen and select the monitor you want to record. After that, click Share or OK. When you add your display, you should see a preview of your desktop in the main window of OBS Studio. It should also be mirrored infinitely, like you see here. If not, something's not working properly. In that case, make sure you've selected the correct monitor and that your system and graphics drivers are up to date. If you want to record your voice, you can add an audio input source. Click the plus button again and select Audio Input Capture. Then choose your microphone and click OK. Now, before you start recording your screen, it's a good idea to go into the settings and verify that your output and video settings are configured correctly. In the output setting, you can change the record path, quality, and the output format. For recording quality, high quality, medium file size is recommended. As for the video format, the advantage of using MKV over MP4 is that if anything crashes during recording, your video will likely be saved up to the point of the crash. With MP4, the file is more likely to be corrupted. Next, go to the video settings and ensure the output resolution and FPS are set to your preferred values. These settings will determine the resolution and frame rate of your final recorded video. And that's the basic setup. You can now start recording your desktop by clicking the Start Recording button. If you want to uninstall OBS from your computer, here's what you need to do. First, run the dpkg-l command to find the name of the OBS package installed on your computer. Once you've identified the exact package name, you can remove it using the apt purge command. After uninstalling OBS, run the apt auto remove command to remove any unused dependency packages. User-specific OBS Studio settings are stored in the OBS Studio folder inside the .config directory in your home folder. To completely remove these settings, delete this folder using the rm command. If you also want to remove the OBS PPA repository, you'll find it in the etc app sources list.d directory.
And that brings us to the end of this video on how to install OBS Studio on Ubuntu 24. If you find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.